हाउ अमेजिंग हैज इट बीन लिविंग इन दिस सिटी ऑफ ड्रीम हर कोई जो ये सिटी में आता है एक ड्रीम लेके आता है एंड आई एम ग्लैड दैट आई एम बोर्न इन दिस सिटी विथ ऑल माई ड्रीम राइट बिहाइंड संजय दत्त एंड देन यू नो ऑल्सो हैविंग लाइक वन डायलॉग विथ हिम इतने सारे लोगों में क्या फीलिंग थी आई डेंट रियलाइज द द स्केल ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट आई डेंट रियलाइज ओ माई गॉड दिस इज संजय दत्त ओ माई गॉड दिस इज राजकुमार रानी नथिंग आई रियलाइज द ग्रैंड ऑफ दैट फिल्म वेन आई वेंट फॉर द प्रीमियर ऑफ दैट फिल्म How has the cast been? Because <coughs> itna kamal ka cast hai in itself. First of all, all Maharashtrians around you, like uh, Sachin Pargaukar ji and Atul Kulkarni. So, ye Marathi WhatsApp group ban jata hai uh, against Ajaz. Nahi. Oh, <laughs> no, no, not at all. Aise kuch nahi hota. Because I feel that Nagesh sir's set and every set for that matter is very disciplined. Hmm. ऐसे मराठी वर्सेस नॉन महाराष्ट्रियंस ऐसे कुछ नहीं होता एंड आई थिंक नो बडी शुड डू दैट ऑल्सो सचिन जी एंड अतुल बोथ आई फील द बेस्ट थिंग इज दैट दे नेवर पुट दैट प्रेशर और दे डोंट कैरी दैट और ऑफ देम बीइंग सीनियर हाय दिस इज प्रिया बापट एंड यू आर वाचिंग मी ऑन बॉलीवुड हंगामा Hi guys, welcome to Bollywood Hangama. My name is Urmit. Aaj I'm so happy to meet this bundle of joy. I think that she is a woman who has infinite emotions on screen. Whether it's Hindi or Marathi films, bahut pyar milta hai inhe. Fir aisa lagta hai ki yaar pehle se hum jante hain Priya Bapat ko. Hi Priya. Thank you Urmit. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Great. <laughs> I'm happy and uh, really like jumping with joy because getting lot of good compliments and people are loving the show so Yay. all the love and praises are making me happy and glow sabse pehle to congratulations that the third season came super fast kyunki yeah. uh, pehle do seasons ka intezar kiya and we were waiting ki kab aayega the third season and <clears throat> now it's here city of dreams ki hum baat kar rahe hain tell us all about it i think this has been the fastest release because we shot in the month of 22nd <laughs> august se leke 22nd november tak shoot kiya fir 23rd mein release hua <laughs> I'm so happy and I'm getting so many good praises and compliments for the work ki mujhe time ka hisab hi nahi hai but very very cool and ye batayein that you know you are you have been an out and out mumbai kar mm-hmm. born and brought up here ruya college uh, se pass out yeah. hai aap so junior college wilson uh, degree college ruya and post graduation sophias oh sophias to matlab <laughs> so ye batayein that par ladkiyon ka college ha ha गेट तक ना गेट के बाहर फिर पता है हमें एक्चुअली हाँ, <laughs> सफेद में ऐसे कुछ मैटर नहीं करता लड़की का कॉलेज है लड़कों का और एक कोविड कॉलेज सुपर फन हाउ हाउ अमेजिंग हैज इट बीन लिविंग इन दिस सिटी ऑफ ड्रीम ओ अमेजिंग वेरी ब्लिसफुल आई विल से दैट हर कोई जो ये सिटी में आता है एक ड्रीम लेके आता है एंड आई एम ग्लैड दैट आई एम बॉर्न इन दिस सिटी विथ ऑल माई ड्रीम्स you know and my dream has always been to fulfill every dream that i have Aww. or i have seen or i have dreamt of <laughs> so one of that is that keep doing good work and be recognized for your work mm-hmm. than anything else and i think that started to happen after city of dreams and what a great coincidence that the name of the show is also city of dreams correct <laughs> so i think i'm i'm really happy yeah i mean the city has given me everything um to who i am you know growing up in this city really teaches you a lot it teaches you survival right. it also teaches you uh, like it shows you both poles apart lifestyles hmm. you know thoda simple lifestyle hmm. middle class lifestyle also and the, like the bra- brand luxurious hmm. lifestyle also so i think this city really really and this is the only way i can say this this, this city teaches you how to survive and how to dream but What was Priya's dream as a kid? क्या सपना था आपका कुछ नहीं था In fact, uh, even uh, becoming an actor was never my dream dream. I didn't even realize that this is my dream. तो क्या करना था आपको फिर कुछ नहीं I just went with the flow. अच्छा Because I always say that अगर मुझे पता होता कि मुझे actor बनना है तो my life, I, I would have taken those decisions when I did Munna Bhai MBBS. Hmm. I had no such plans because I didn't know whether I wanted to become an actor. मैं बस पढ़ती गई काम आता गया मैं करती गई Because I come from a very simple middle class family, my parents had this one rule in hmm. the house which was 
पढ़ाई पूरी करो ग्रेजुएशन तो होना ग्रेजुएशन तो होना चाहिए सो नॉट जस्ट ग्रेजुएशन आई वॉज अ स्टूडियस गर्ल आई टू लव स्टडी एंड आई वॉज लाइक अ काइंड ऑफ अ गुड परसेंटेज होल्डर एंड अ रैंक होल्डर इन कॉलेज एंड स्कूल सो आई कीप स्टडिंग आई डिड माई ग्रेजुएशन आई डिड माई पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन एंड पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन वॉज द टाइम वेन आई वॉज एक्सपोज टू लॉर्ड ऑफ वर्ल्ड सिनेमा Uh, because i did my post graduation in mass media okay and that's when i realized that i'm really missing acting because the first thing that i used to observe was the performances in those films and not the script not the direction not the photography cinematography mm-hmm. or anything the first was the performance that used to impact me a lot and i used to think that how this actor must have done this what then i was going back and see like how the director must have uh, you know directed this scene mm. but all that was from the actor and the performances point of view and then i realized that no i think i should go back to acting and so i decided to become an actor and that it i think that is the dream that i started to uh, you know think about or dream hmm. about really when done. ha when i was in my post graduation till then i was just like chal raha hai bhai kaise mila how did munna bhai mbbs happen i was working as a child actor and my school teacher who actually introduced me to acting or mm. taught me acting as a child also um she was a casting coordinator mm. we had coordinators back then we didn't have okay. casting directors acha so she was a coordinator also and i think she got a call from raju sir's office because they were looking for college kids hmm. and she said would you will you go for an audition i said i'll go i went to rajkumar irani's office i auditioned and i got the part it's that simple <laughs> <laughs> but then you know going for the shoot and then sitting in that classroom right behind uh, sanjay dat and then you know also having like one dialogue with him itne sare logo mein kya feeling thi I think I'll tell you the best part of that age and uh, the the kind of person I was I was so naive that I didn't even realize what project I'm a part of okay I didn't realize the the scale of the project I didn't realize oh my god this is Sanjay Dutt oh my god this is Rajkumar Hirani nothing I realized the grandeur of that film when I went for the premiere of that film even when I watched the film I was like ha okay to main hu ta acha ye maza aaya okay okay I was so naive because I was genuinely in first year of junior college. Okay. I don't remember having any memory of, you know, being in awe of these people mm-hmm. or feeling uh, you know something different. I was like lines diye hai, teacher ne bola hai, padh ke bolo, bas lines yaad karo, bolo khatam baat. So I think sometimes you know, it's the beauty of that time mm-hmm. that you don't give it that extra importance and you just live that moment wow. and so the work happens you don't act it mm-hmm. just happens so i think munna bhai mbbs and that performance just happened because maybe i was exactly of that age i was that really innocent naive girl who really didn't know anything no uh, you know black and white about this whole world and society and i was living that life so i just said it the way i would have said those lines <laughs> but in the second film lagera munna bhai there was an entire scene yeah, around you yeah pehle bataiye kabhi bhi aapne kisi waiter ko ch ch kiya hai uske pehle kiya hoga shayad uske baad main hi consciously yaad kar diya nahi nahi aise nahi bulana hai fir then i started saying excuse me <laughs> but it's easy for women no? we always call everyone bhaiya only ha <laughs> dada bhaiya dada bhaiya <laughs> Haan. Kaisa tha experience? How was it with Lagerao uh, and having an entire scene? Even though you didn't meet Sanjay Dutt, right? No. For that scene. For the second part, hmm. no. I think uh, Rajkumar Hirani is a uh, he is a gem of a person. He's a brilliant director. But the best part was that he just lets you be. At least for me, it was like that. He he didn't uh, he didn't come and corrected every single word that I was speaking. Hmm. Uh, the only change that i saw was in the first part the the makeup team had done a lot of makeup on me and then i came on the set and he was like what is this why is she with makeup just go and wash your face and come so this i definitely remember from the first munna bhai second munna bhai i was with makeup and all and he didn't mind because i think i had also grown up by then and i was looking like a girl ready to get married, married. <laughs> so then he didn't mind that little makeup on my face which i was also okay of but i think that transition happened maybe by age and the time that uh, that passed by in between 
I know that there have been such wonderful films that you had done also in between right like right you not, not no just... not so many this was what this was after 3 years Achha. so when i did uh, first munna bhai i was in junior college by the time i did second munna bhai i was in my ty Final so we were still like in yeah, that phase yeah, that 5 4 5 Haan. years gap yeah but i think the beauty of rajkumar hirani in hirani's direction is that he just lets you be he lets you do your part hmm. and that's that's the fun part of it he did correct me a little bit and yeah. i have a memory of how that scene happened and after that i did lot of tv commercials also with him oh yeah that also happened acha ye bata that in real life have you ever been on a blind date to a restaurant no. met someone no are umesh is not you. watching bata do no no but i haven't <laughs> now if you know umesh you also know that he has been my first boyfriend first love first and the only husband <laughs> first and the only husband that's so sweet I don't wish to change my husband. I'm happy with what I've got. <laughs> you guys had such great videos uh, during the lockdown too. अरे कितनी मेहनत करा रहे थे यार मतलब कितना workout चल रहा था. हाँ workout तो I think both of us are workout freaks. Yeah. So we really enjoy that. And I think in the lockdown, the only thing that kept me sane was the workout. Yeah. yeah. Genuinely. Priya, now tell us that you know what makes you say yes to a script because when we look at the wonderful uh, scope of work that you have done there have been such such fantastic roles kak sparsh ami doge oh my god <laughs> do filme jinhe jitni baar dekho utna as probably actors you learn uh, as somebody who's a fan of movies you want to understand every role more so tell us what goes behind saying yes to a script I try I I sometimes know that it's not possible every time but I try to choose a character that I have never done before okay or choose at least a shade of that character that you haven't seen me doing before on screen hmm. uh because I think only then it makes it challenging of course the story as a whole has to be impactful and it has to be very strong because hmm. I think the script is all that matters to Correct. me nothing else and the director but If I have done those parts earlier then I don't feel it exciting enough because then I have very little to explore unless the director or the storyteller has a completely different perspective about the same kind of a story like a love story for that matter mm-hmm. I love rom-coms mm-hmm. and I can do rom-coms for my life but uh, because i also feel that every person has a different way of narrating that rom-com you know mm-hmm. that rom-com could be like from a little sensitive perspective to really being comedy yeah. it can be a crazy rom-com like time pass 2 yeah so there were there are a uh, time pass 2 was a complete uh, entertainer masala yeah, yeah masala film so there are different types of rom-coms also so in that setup i don't mind but then i'll make sure that if i have done a film like kakus parsha or if i have done a film like vazandar hmm. for example there were so many challenges that as an actor i had to take be it uh, putting on weight to understanding the the feeling that a overweight person would go through because hmm. like that i was I'm never I was never overweight. Okay. I had to put on those 16 kg weight. But actually when I did that, I realized what my body was feeling and my mind was feeling. So that really helped me in the performance. Hmm. Now after after doing what I have done in Marathi, I think the more important part was for me to there was nothing exciting happening in Marathi for me at that time. And hmm. till 2000 after 2018 I haven't done any film except hmm. Anika Hawa because Anika hmm. Hawa was again a very cute rom-com space which i really love and varun of course is a brilliant director mm. and a writer but other than that there was nothing exciting so i think for me primarily it has to be the script right. and the part that has offered to me which i try and choose that it at least a you know one characteristic of that part should be different from what i have done earlier because only then i can challenge myself and i can learn something new about that character mm. or personality that i have to portray on screen yeah. and work hard towards it learning but then, but is the only okay thing it's okay that you know there are not too many films in the pipeline you're okay with that i'm okay with that that's that's a great way to i'm okay it. with that i think i've never i've never worked for the quantity mm. i would always go for a quality over quantity coming back to city of dreams season 3 uh let me tell you that i saw two episodes and i'm on that binge watch session lekin unfortunately <laughs> waqt nahi milta and you know 
ये डार्क सर्कल्स भी तो तंग करते हैं कास्ट बीन बिकॉज इतना कमाल का कास्ट है इन इट सेल्फ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑल महाराष्ट्र अराउंड यू लाइक सचिन पड़गावकर जी एंड अतुल कुलकर्णी तो ये मराठी व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप बन जाता है अगेंस्ट एजाज नहीं ओ नो नो नॉट एट ऑल ऐसे कुछ नहीं होता बिकॉज आई फील दैट नागेश सर सेट एंड एवरी सेट फॉर दैट मैटर इज वेरी डिसिप्लिन ऐसे मराठी वर्सेज नॉन महाराष्ट्रियन ऐसे कुछ नहीं होता एंड आई थिंक नो बडी शुड डू दैट ऑल्सो वेदर इट इज it is about a marathi people coming together or it is some north indian people coming hmm. together or south indian people coming together i think that is, languages are just a medium to communicate that's true. how much importance are you going to give to the languages eventually the craft that we all share the performances that we all bring on to the table and the bond that we share off screen is more important to me Correct. and in fact i think i'm a kind of a person who will make sure if that the other person is not maharashtrian and hmm. if there are uh, you know more maharashtrian people in the room i'll make sure that i'll translate and uh, i'll translate to to the other person so that he'll understand what what conversation is going on right or we'll make sure that we'll speak in the language that everybody understands so involving everyone is such an i important think it's thing. very important wouldn't you feel left course, out i mean i definitely course. will feel left out if there are uh, like a group of south indian friends who are just talking in their own language and if i don't understand anything mujhe pata bhi nahi chalega mujhe gaali de rahe ki mere bare mein gossip kar rahe ki kya and i think it's very important to make everybody included uh in your team yeah. when you are on set yeah. when you are on set you are not an individual hmm. you are always a team what i do because atul is a very uh, very good friend of mine so what how i meet him outside the set and how i hang out with him it's a different story hmm. there we definitely will be chatting in marathi and all of that but when it's a set with lot of other people from all the other languages we definitely have to respect all languages that are in india and how was it working with sachin ji great i think this season i had very a uh, few scenes with him now you'll see i probably have only two scenes with him in the entire season oh two or three not more than that hmm. mm, but with sachin ji and atul both i feel the best thing is that they never put that pressure or they don't carry that aura of them being senior hmm. you know they uh, they are veterans they are uh, they have done a lot of work yeah. but they don't carry that baggage on set and that really works and that makes the set so easy and comfortable mm. that you can just chat with them you can uh, also they make sure that along with them your performance gets better so it's never a competition right it's always a collaboration that is so important yeah Hi this is Priya Bapat and you're watching me on Bollywood Hangama